Hey, good morning everybody. It's that Blazing Yellow Elantra guy, also known as Richard Miles, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my wife's 2017 Hyundai Elantra GL. So the Elantra GL is a great car, and as I promised on my last review with my own car, my 40,000 kilometer review, I said I would do an 80,000 kilometer on this. So we're at 80,429 now, and uh, again, happy to report this car has been absolutely fantastic. This is a commuter car. My wife drives up and down the highway all day, every day, and this car just never fails and it returns incredible fuel economy and uh, awesome reliability and comfort. Uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a basic car, if you will, but having said that, it does come with a nice uh, feature set uh, including, and I'll kind of walk around the car a little bit after it's raining outside at the moment, but um, yeah, you know, you still get your uh, you still get your Bluetooth, your Android uh, Apple Auto head unit uh, with the Bluetooth audio. You get your cruise control. You get your heated seats, your heated power, sorry, heated steering wheel, heated mirrors, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Um, one thing I do like on this car is that it does offer three different drive modes, and they do remarkably actually make a difference, especially on the GL. I don't have a sport mode on my car because it's manual, so it's I guess it's always in sport mode. Yeah, you've got eco mode, which uh, is nice economical mode. It's uh, obviously intended to give you uh, a better return on fuel economy. I find that in normal driving around the city, it just hunts up and down the gears a little bit too much when you want to kind of pass somebody or it sits in too high of a gear and almost feels a little bit sluggish, but it does return slightly better uh, fuel economy. Uh, then you've got your normal mode, which obviously everything is normal. And then you get your sport mode and this one actually works quite well on this car and I'm quite surprised with this 2 liter Atkinson cycle engine. It really spirits things up. Um, it, uh, it increases the RPM a little bit so don't use this on the highway if you're going down the highway because it does automatically take the uh, RPMs up a little bit higher and sits it there. It almost like takes away that overdrive gear and makes it a 5 speed instead of a 6 speed. Um, uh, but it does stiffen up the steering as well and it really changes the map of the throttle response to the point where like I wish my car actually had the kind of throttle response that this one does because it's just as soon as you touch it bang you're gone like it's really good actually it's interesting uh, and it adds a, a definite more crisp shifts and it just holds the RPMs a little bit higher and whatnot so it's really really neat and you can do that automatically of course or you can take the gear shift over to the left and then you can manually work through the gears and uh, select for yourself if you want but you know um really nice car uh really enjoy this i like driving it when we're on long drives uh, especially with the kids and stuff like that it's just got uh, a nice ride very comfortable again the fuel economy it's smooth it's quiet and as much as i love my car sometimes the old man and me and i'm not gonna lie just wants to get in and just cruise and i don't want to hear a damn thing i don't want to feel every bump every little matchstick i'm not going to be throwing the car around the corner i just want to take a nice drive when those days come i quite enjoy driving this car and I know a lot of people bash on it that are in the sport category, they're kind of like, well, it's just a normie. Yeah, you know what, it is, but it's a very different car, and it's not intended to to compete with a sport model, so I don't know why we would, we would bash on it. It's its own car in its own segment, and it does very, very well at it. So uh, if you guys have a, a normal, I don't, want, I don't like saying that, if you have a GL, a Limited, an L, or even just a base SE or whatever, you've got yourself a damn fine car, guys, and don't let anybody tell you any different. It's, it's a great ride beautiful car and uh, they're going to be reliable and um, yeah it's really good so I'm going to take you on a little tour just around the car and show you some of the key differences. So I'm not sure if my lens is going to be wide enough to show you the difference here on the interior wise and sorry you guys the car is not perfectly clean as I say it is raining and I've been doing other things but yeah so you still get a very nice steering wheel you get all your controls for your telephone your volume you know your your mode selection hang up and dial you can still over on this side, you do have your cruise control features and stuff like that. Very nice, clean, simple gauge pod. No issues there. Uh, Everything is legible and easy to read. And as you can see, and now I've been doing a lot of city running lately because we haven't been on the highway, but that average six liters per kilometer is actually pretty good for in and around the city. But on the highway, that will really drop down. That will even go sometimes even below five, maybe 4.8, 4.9. It's really quite impressive. Moving over a little bit here, so as I said, you got the same head unit that most Elantra Sports have as well. It's got your Android uh, Auto and Apple CarPlay and all that kind of stuff coming down. It does not come self-equipped with an N95 mask. That's my own my own doing. Come on, camera, focus in. 
and then into your uh, this is the six-speed automatic and why it does not focus with me on me there we go <clears throat> yeah so again in your normal drive mode if you want but if you want you can move the gear shift over and then you can work through the gears yourself and then you have your mode select button down here for your drive select so whether it's going to be sport normal or eco so works really well and in sport mode like i say it really makes a big difference so i know i've been asked a few times what are some of the key differences between the sport and the non-sport models and uh so interior wise as i just showed you quickly on that little walkthrough they're very very similar the steering wheel is different in the sport the seats are obviously different in the sport and the gear shift uh sorry if you're manual obviously you're going to have a manual gear shift lever instead of the automatic uh, the seats are cloth uh, in the sport, they're leather. Um, uh, that's really all I can think of, uh, and a bit more like carbon fiber kind of trim accent on the interior. But at the, at the base of it all, it's just little nuances. It's really almost the, the same dash, uh, head unit, stereo, heater controls, all that kind of stuff. Just steering wheel, seats, and leather seats, and some, some trim pieces that really change it on the interior. Uh, exterior wise you're going to have a slightly different front and rear fascia on the sport model over the GL but the GL still looks quite nice um, the tail lights are going to be a little bit different in the sport than they are in the uh, in the regular Elantras but again even the regular Elantra ones are quite nice actually I like them just as much as I like the ones on the sport uh, you're not going to have the side skirt accent packages on the regular Elantra as you will on the sport and then, of course, the big things that are going to change things are the uh, the engine, of course. This is a 2-liter Atkinson cycle. Um, and then the Sport is a 1.6-liter, obviously, turbocharged uh, direct injection. Uh, you're going to have a suspension change. Uh, you're going to have independent rear wheel, independent rear suspension on the Sport. You're going to have your regular, I think it's torsion beam or twist beam on, on this car. And then your brakes, obviously, are going to be different. On this particular model, it's disc brakes up front, drum in the back. Uh, on obviously on the sport it's disc all around and then just wheels and tire size and things of that effect but uh, really you know like when I when I bought my car my wife had a Honda Civic before and it was uh, it was a nice car and everything else like that but it was starting to get a little bit dated and she just wanted a really basic kind of economic car to get her back and forth to work and and, uh, and I said well why don't you consider Elantra and it's so funny being me being an Elantra guy and my wife was like no to, uh, to Hyundai for whatever reason I guess she still had that stigma even though I've had four Hyundais and never had an issue with them there was still that stigma that was attached anyways kind of just uh, let it go and let her make her decision of course she's a grown woman she can have whatever she wants um, but then she was kind of like all right let, I'll give this Elantra a try and uh, no regrets I mean um, would she like something more of course you know, she probably, I'd love to see her in like a Genesis, to be quite honest with you, or, or something to that effect. But one of the good points she brought up to me, and I thought it was sensible, was that this car goes up and down the highway and gets hammered every day with rocks and pebbles and gravel and, and all sorts of things. And she would hate to see, um, not to minimize this car, but a nicer car just absolutely get trashed. Uh, and have the paint damaged and stuff like that it would break her heart so she just uh, enjoys this for its basic transportation comfort it's got everything she needs in it uh, she can enjoy her tunes it's not got a bad sound system in it it's got the air conditioning it's got the heated seats in the winter it's got um, it's got the traction control it's got stability control it's got all that kind of stuff so it fits the bill on what could I think technically is almost like just a perfect daily driver um, you do not get fatigued driving this car. Vision and visibility is pretty darn good. The ride noise, uh, the, the road noise levels are more than acceptable. Uh, it's a smooth ride. Uh, and then again, the big thing is reliability and 80,000 kilometers. And all we've done is just our regular routine oil changes, air filter, things like that. And we've had not had to do anything else. This car has been incredible. The brakes are still good. I mean, I think they're starting to just go a little bit now. I was feeling it the other day when we were driving it. But again, that's something I can do myself. It's not a big expense and it's not a bad expense. It's normal maintenance, guys. You have to do brakes on your car. It's just the way it is. Uh, the tires are still going good, even with 80,000 kilometers on it. They've got good tread life. Uh, that'll be improved now too, because uh, last year we bought uh, winter tires for our car. So we're not running these tires on either my car or my wife's car all, all year round. So yeah, um, great car. Um, if you have any questions about this car, please uh, leave me a comment down below. 
and let me know what you think and if you have any other questions I can't think of anything else that I that I can speak of of this car I uh, just wanted to give a quick recap 2017 Hyundai Elantra GL just a little over 80,000 kilometers fantastic fuel economy incredible reliability and what I think like again is a great value minded everyday driving car that you'll enjoy and will give you many years of service and uh, highly recommend it again Cheers guys, everybody stay safe and uh, look forward to seeing you. And if you like the video, please, you know, subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what I'm doing, trying to grow the channel a little bit more during this COVID-19. If uh, I feel inspired, I want to I bring more material to you guys, more content. I'm not sure my exact direction yet. There's so many great auto blogs and reviews, and I know that I'm just a, uh, an, an older guy here, just having fun with a camera and just likes to talk cars, but... But I mean well, and, and I want to just do the best I can do for you guys. And, uh, yeah, let's see where it goes. All right, so everybody be safe, and have a great day. Take care.